Hello guys, this is the Metroid mod by Kimura27. Um, I'll be going through pretty much everything in the game, at least that the mod adds. So let's start off. First of all, we have the crafting stuff. Let's start with the power core for most of your things, which is made with four redstone in the corners. Gold, a gold ingot in the middle of each side, and a diamond in the middle gives you a power core, as is shown there. You have the thermoresistant alloy, re referred to on the forum page as a heat shield, which is made with four nether quartz, four iron ingots, and a blaze rod in that pattern. That gives you one thermoresistant alloy. Here is your redstone capacitor, also a pretty simple recipe. Two iron ingots, one in the top, one on the bottom, and one redstone in the middle. And I believe you can move this to the side. Yes, you can. And that gives you a redstone capacitor. A gravitational anomaly is made with four eye of ender, four redstone capacitors, and a power core. And there we go. And that makes you a gravitational anomaly. Which, it, by the way, is referred to, let's see here. On the page, it is referred to as a gravity disruptor. And then, now we're starting on armor. Here's your power suit helmet. Basically, take an iron helmet and stick a power core in it. So, that gives you a power suit helmet. Get out of here. And you'll see a theme here. Power suit chest plate is an iron chest plate with a power core. Power suit leggings is iron leggings with a power core. Boots are iron boots with a power core. And you can put that in either spot there. And then, when you have a full suit of armor on, it gives you night vision, strength, and resistance. So it's all nice and bright. The resistance and the strength helps make up for the lack of armor in comparison to the full iron set. And then, to upgrade it, you into the Varia suit, you basically do the same thing, but but you substitute the corresponding power suit piece with for the um, power core, and the thermoresistant alloy or heat shield replaces the iron ingot. And that continues with all of them. Sparts are very similar to the power suit. So let's just go by here and make all of this. And the only reason I'm going through all of this is to show you that the crafting recipes do indeed work. So also you can see that if you only have three pieces on, you do not get the buff. And then once you have the Varia suit, you A, have more armor, and B, more buffs. Instead of just the night vision, strength, and resistance 1, you now have night vision, speed, strength, resistance 2, and fire resistance. And then you can upgrade this again. All you need for this are some of those gravitational anomalies and your various suit. So I'm just going to run through here and grab all of this. And these recipes, guys, are shapeless, so it can... doesn't matter where on here you put it. And you can just craft all of that. And now, you have even more buffs and even more armor to the point where you're up to about an iron set. You have water breathing 2, 
which I believe lets you breathe underwater. I haven't actually tested that. Let's do that right now. And then, as you can see, the water bubbles are not going down. So let's just slowly swim out of there. And now, you can see your speed has been upgraded to speed 2. You now have night vision 2 instead of 1, which I don't believe makes any difference. You have regeneration. You have resistance 3 now. Fire resistance 2, which makes no difference between levels. And water breathing 2. I don't know if that has a level difference in it. And then that brings us to our Phazon suit. Phazon suit is also shapeless. You have your gravity suit helmet, or chest plate, or leggings, or boots, and a Phazon ore, which I believe can be found by mining, though I have not actually tested that yet. And we'll be doing that shortly after this video. And just to show you that it is shapeless, you can move this, move your piece of gravity armor around, it doesn't matter where. As long as you have the 8 phase on ore and your piece of gravity suit armor. Oops. So let's just make all of that, take off the gravity suit, and now you can see you've got a whole lot of buffs, and you will never need a beacon again. You have your night vision, you have your speed 3, which means you run really fast. You have your haste, so you can mine faster. You have strength, so you can punch things to death much easier. Regeneration 2, so you, you're not going to get hurt much. Resistance 3, you're really not going to get hurt much. Fire resistance, and again, water breathing. Let's see if there's a difference between level 1 and level 2, since gravity at level 2 does not look like it. So, let's see here, switch it to easy. Here's, now we're getting into weapons. Here's your power beam, which is your basic weapon. Just 5 iron ingots, 1 redstone, and a power core. And let's test this, shall we? Here we have a creeper. Pull it back. Fire. Creeper takes damage. One, two, ten hits to kill. So it looks like it just does one heart per hit. Not the, not a very good weapon. Then we get up to our wave beam, which is five iron ingots, one glass, and a power core. So, let's just make that. Now the wave beam here is special because... Oopsies. Oh well, didn't need that anyway. Just go over here. Actually, kind of didn't need that, but I can use one of the other bits to show you. As you can see, it's still not doing much damage. I'm pretty sure it's still just one heart per hit. But at the same time, it's got a good range, and as we'll see momentarily, it has a very special benefit to it. Let's just grab a bit of glass here. God dang it, now my inventory is all cluttered, but... Now you're going to ask, well how are you supposed to kill it from this side? There's blocks in the way. Well, let's see here. Supposedly, the wave beam can shoot through walls. However, it does not seem like that is currently working. And now we have your, now you have your ice beam, which is... 5 iron, a snowball, and a power core. Probably shouldn't have used creepers for this, but oh well. 
Lesson learned. Now, you have your creeper. You have your ice beam. As you can see, it's got the little debuff swirls. And it looks like it still only does one heart of damage. But then there's those debuff swirls. What are those doing? Well, we spawn one. What it does is it basically freezes them. They, for a split second, they cannot move. Very useful for creepers. Very useful in tight situations where you are surrounded by mobs and need to get some out of the way. Because you can just shoot it once, and then you have plenty of time to run away, particularly if you have a phase on suit. Although, at the same time, phase on suit. Sit right there, take four hearts of damage from a point blank creeper blast, and then you have regeneration too. Which, for whatever. Oh. Did they do. Are they that evil? So apparently in the new snapshots, either regeneration is completely broken or it's hunger dependent, but it's looking like it's completely broken. Huh. Anyways, get back on point here. Here's your, here's your plasma beam. Five iron and gets a plasma core and a lava bucket. Let's just make that real quick. And that gives you back your empty bucket and a plasma beam. So, there's your creeper. As you can see, plasma beam looks like it's shooting a lot more, and it killed it in three hits. So, let's see here. Now, are all of these all different projectiles? But either way, it's a much more effective weapon than any than the other beams. Except in certain situations, the ice beam. And once it gets fixed, the wave beam will be interesting when it shoots through walls. As you can see, it also weakens them up very nicely, so you can go in with your sword if you want to kill all of them really fast. Say you have a looting sword and want to get them all. So, now for the last beam, the Nova beam. You have your thermo... You need five of your thermoresistant alloy or heat shields and two power cores. Let's just make that real quick. Now, the Nova beam is a bit different from the other beams as it's apparently auto-firing and a Again, a really poor weapon, but supposedly it can break blocks. Perhaps I misread that, but also, if you're in creative and you're doing stuff with this, this is the phase on orb you want. This one will not work. Ah, yes. And also, the phase on dropping two, one of, or one of which is a ghost ore that you can't pick up, is a known bug. But apparently, the Nova Beam is, I think, the only thing you can use to mine phase on. Let's see here. I can make bedrock. And as you can see, you don't want to stand on phase on. Let's see here. Let's just see just the buffs that phase on gives you, not from the armor. It gives you slowness, nausea, and radiation poisoning. Not sure if that will kill you. Don't really want to find out just yet. Oh, yep, it'll kill you. Oh well. So, you do indeed need the Nova Beam to get phase on armor. The phase on suit. Mod link will be in the description, as will the link to Minecraft to a working version of Minecraft Forge. As you can see, the mod does indeed work. 